Hi, I'm Mitch Fenske and today we're going to be talking about cordless drill safety. We're going to cover three main things in this video. The first being basic operations of the drill. After that, we'll show you a couple basic procedures, including drilling a hole and driving a screw. So I'm going to start off by just mentioning a couple ways that you can prepare yourself to use the drill. So first off, um, when you enter in any shop, uh, you got to be wearing your safety glasses. Even if you're not using any tools, you know, stuff could be happening elsewhere and could break and fly through your eyes. So just make sure you have your safety glasses on. Um, as with any power tool or thing that turns like a drill, um, you're going to want to get anything hanging and put it away. So if you have hoodie strings or earbuds or long hair, uh, make sure that's tied back and put away. Um, as the drill turns, it could catch that and pull you in. And that's not a good situation to have. You don't want to rip your hair out. So next off, we're going to mention um, a couple things about the drill. So the drill has a forward gear and a reverse gear. And if you put it in the spot in between, you can't pull the trigger. So that acts as kind of like a safety. So that's how you should just leave the drill uh, when you're not using it. Because, you know, if it gets bumped or something, it could go off. And you don't want to have you know, any tool go off accidentally. It could cause problems. So as with any other power tool, we always need to be mindful of the dangers of electricity. Um, there's a couple of issues that you can run into electricity with the drill. So the first off would be using it in wet conditions. Um, you're never going to want to drill any into anything too wet or use it when it's too wet outside. Uh, that could cause a short circuit in the drill and it could potentially give you a shock. Uh, the other much more common way that people run into issues is by drilling into things that they aren't sure of. So I'm not really too sure where the wire is running in this wall and if I drilled into that, that'd be very bad. So always make sure um, of what you're drilling into. And that could be anything. Um, even if you're just going too deep into something you don't want to or you know, drilling into whatever. Just uh, always make sure you know what's behind what you're drilling into and make sure you're not going too deep. So the drill we're using today has two speeds. A fast speed and a slow speed. You use the fast speed for when the drill uh, doesn't really have to work too hard like when you're drilling into soft wood or if it's just a small hole and use the slow speed for when it needs more torque. So if you know, you're putting a big screw into a piece of wood or you haven't drilled a hole yet. Um, today we're gonna to be drilling a small hole, so we'll use the fast speed. So the way you put the drill bit into the drill is in this thing called the chuck. Uh, make sure that it's in there properly. It's pretty easy, especially with a small bit to get it caught off center. I'll show you an example here. So you know, even if just looking at that, it doesn't, I guess it looks kind of bad from that angle, but uh, it could be easy to miss, but a uh, surefire way to always tell is you give it a quick spin and then right away you can see, oh, you know, it's off center. So make sure the bit is loaded nice and straight like that. So now that we have the bit nicely in the chuck, we can now show you how to safely drill a hole. So you're going to want to start off by um, making a little starter hole. Especially if you're not really familiar with the drill, this is a good idea. Because the bit can wander sometimes and can go off and break. So pretty easy. I just use a nail, but you can really use anything that's sharp. Just set it on the piece of wood and give it a tap. And then you have a nice little divot like there. So the bit's not going to wander now. So when you're drilling, you want to have two hands on the drill. Um, the more control you have over any power tool, the better. Um, so make sure your bit is straight up and down in your little hole. Uh, you can drill at an angle if you want, but in this case, we want just straight up and down. So now you're ready to go. So you can just yank the bit out like that, but um, it's not very good. So what I like to do is put the drill into reverse, and then it comes out nice and easy. So now that we've seen how to drill a hole, we can now learn how to drive a screw. So you're going to want to start off by just setting uh, the screw in the little hole that you made. Now unlike uh, with the drill bit, you can put quite a bit of pressure on these. Um, it's actually better if you do, because if not, um, the screw will kind of skip, and that's not good. Little pieces of metal will be flying around. So yeah, um, drive it 
straight down, just like with the drill bit. Alright, let's go. So like I said before, um, make sure there's lots of pressure on it. If not, it'll kind of skip like, like that. That's not good. So that pretty much concludes our video for today. Just always make sure to be careful of what you're drilling into, wear your safety glasses, and don't push too hard on small drill bits.